Hi guys, Top Ops here, and today it is a hot one. I'm over at GameStop right now. We're actually just in front of GameStop because they called me to let me know that a bunch of my pre-orders arrived. And they didn't really tell me much besides the fact that one of them is a chase, and I feel like we do this a lot now where there's like one chase as well as a bunch of other figures. I'm not complaining. It's just happening a lot recently. And so like I've said before, I'm not going to find out what figures I got sitting here in the car, so let's go into GameStop and let's get started. Alrighty, so this is what the back section is looking like, and it seems like they do have some new figures, and I'm noticing they got in some of the Jurassic World ones, which is perfect. They've got Owen Grady, Claire, T-Rex, and then over here, the, I always don't know how to pronounce this one, Gigantonosaurus? I don't know, but I'm definitely grabbing one. Like, you gotta give me a break on this one, guys. The name is massive. What's that, like 15 letters long? But anyways, yeah, it is a really sick pop. I'm liking this a lot. And then what else do we have that's new? I mean, they've got like Russell Westbrook, I believe, is a bit newer. And then up top, I did see the Supreme Strange, which is a pretty sick figure. And then over here to the left, oh, check this out, guys. They got in Red Panda May as well as Geralt. And if I didn't have any of these sodas pre-ordered, which I do believe I pre-ordered two of these, I'll have to pick up a couple from back here. And then if you look a little bit higher up, guys, it seems like they got in some more of the Funko verse, and they are both of the Jurassic Park ones, probably for the new movie coming out. And then, let me see what else we've got here, like Squirrel Pool. Oh, I did not see this. They got in the Hobgoblin. Is there only one? It's a large. I'll probably have to grab it anyway. Now, I did not expect to see this today, and if you guys want to take a look at it, this is the Glow in the Dark Hobgoblin, where in the U.S. it's normally exclusive to Target. Pretty sick. Oh, sorry guys, there was a bit of a glare on that one. I don't know, it's not getting much better. I'll just show them off closer at the office. And then besides that, I mean, we've got like Shawn Michaels down at the bottom there, Frank Zappa, Whitney Houston, but I'm not seeing much else that's new, so let's just go check on the pre-orders. Okay, so we are back in the car, and really quickly, I wanted to let you guys know somewhat of what I got. And just looking in the bag quickly, I picked up 12 mystery minis, I got three sodas, and then a bunch of Funko Pops. So let's go back to the office, and we'll take a look at every single one of them. I guess I told you what kind of figures I got, but not exactly which ones. And I think we're going to be starting with the mystery minis today because it's a pretty good set. And now I'm going to tell you guys now, I'm not going to be opening up the entire set today. What I want to do is open up two of them, and then maybe we'll do a video in the future if you guys would like to see it. And I ended up picking up 12 today, which is technically a full case. The problem was they weren't in a specific case, so I'm not sure if it was a full one. It's kind of just like a random 12. So let me pick out the two that we're going to be doing today, which I think is going to be this one as well as I'm kind of feeling this one in the front here. And then we'll save these 10 for another video. And now if you guys want to check out all of the characters as well as their rarities, here they are in the back. And I think the one that I want the most is probably either Demogorgon or Dustin. They'd be pretty cool. And so here we go. And I feel like it's not going to be anything too rare in this first case, but hey, you never know. Also, it's kind of nice because I haven't opened up a mystery mini in a while. And if you guys haven't seen these on the channel, they're just kind of like blind bags that Funko makes. And here we go. We got, oh, why can't I think of her name? Uh-oh, is she a new character for the season? Because if I'm going to be honest, I don't exactly know who this is. If you guys have her name, please let me know in the comment section below. And now, even though I don't know who this is, they are a 1 in 24, which is pretty cool. And so now let's get into the second one for today. And I'm thinking with this one, I feel like it's going to be Mike or Will. Okay, here we go. And it also feels a little bit heavier, so maybe it's a Demogorgon. It is... <laughs> Hey, we got Dustin! And now for this one, he is a one in six. So nothing too rare, but I really am liking this figure, especially with his thinking cap on. And now let's talk about the pops before we get into the sodas, because I got three of them from Jurassic World Dominion. I got the Gigantonosaurus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a long name. And then we also have Claire as well as Owen. And now you guys might have seen that they also had a T-Rex, and I was able to get that one a little while ago, so I only needed to grab these three today. And also taking a look at the back of the box, there were some really great characters in this set. If you guys want to see it for yourself, this is what it's looking like. And I'm hoping that I can get all of the dinosaurs because I really do enjoy those pops. Oh, and another character that I definitely want to get is Dr. Ian Malcolm because I have almost every single Jeff Goldblum pop. And now I guess taking a look at Owen and Claire, there really isn't too much going on with these characters. They are just people pops, but they are very accurate, and I like that about them. And now I gotta say, Funko has been doing a lot better with their people pops in recent years. Like, if you guys see the Ghostbusters Afterlife set, they've got some really great detail. And then when it comes to the, oh, hold on, wait, is this how you pronounce it? Giganotosaurus? I might be wrong about that. But anyways, I want to take them out of the box really quickly just to see it a little bit closer up, because there is a lot of great detail here, especially the, I guess you 
you could say Finn going on his back, or is it kind of like, oh, I forget what they're called. Um, I'm blanking on this. If you guys have the right term, let me know in the comment section below. But for right now, I'm going to be going with Finn. And I am really enjoying the mouth on this with the detail on the teeth, as well as the scales all the way around. Like, I am really enjoying how Funko did the dinosaurs for this line. Especially because it's not just them standing there like they did for the other movie. A lot of them are actually in kind of this, like, attack stance. It's really sick. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys is the chase I've been teasing the entire time because it's a pretty cool one. And I also want to correct something that I said the other day because I got the chase black and white Casey Jones. When Libby was on the other day, I talked about Casey Jones and I said, you might not know much about this character. She said no, and then I got it wrong. I said villain, I meant vigilante. They both start with VI. I I don't know why I mixed them up. But anyways, if you guys want to take a look at this character a little bit closer up, this is a really cool one. And if you guys want to see the side, these are the normal colors, but then for the chase one, they actually made them black and white. Oh, and also the stickers that they use for these boxes is the only time they've ever put them on a pop. And I'm hoping that they do use this more in the future because it is a pretty sick one where it actually says black and white chase and then the sticker is also in black and white and now i gotta say taking this one out of the box they are very similar in terms of colors because i think the only thing that's different well the problem is i think is that his hair is black as well as his mask is pretty much white so it's very similar on the face and actually now that i think about it it might be the exact same head maybe like slightly different colors and the body i guess is where you're really getting the big difference and now i'm not complaining i just think it is kind of funny how similar they are and you can never leave a chase behind so i had to grab it okay now here's the last pop that i picked up for today and then we'll get into the sodas because this one here the glow-in-the-dark hobgoblin was definitely a surprise today and so here it is everybody and if you guys want to take a look at the shirt it is pretty much the exact same pop on the front of it let me pop it out of here so that way you guys can see it a bit better okay yeah this is a really sick shirt too bad it doesn't fit but this one here is the hobgoblin and it says you're mine spidey and now taking a look at the pop the box seems to be in i think perfect condition like i am not seeing oh there's a little little bit wrong with it but I can't really complain like if you guys see on the top there there's a bit of a fold up which isn't a big deal I don't really care about that one but then when you look on the side here watch this let me see if I can get a glare yeah there it is <laughs> that's a big one but the good news is I'm not going to be selling this pop so what do I really care if the box is a little bit damaged on the side I just really enjoy glow in the dark pop so I had to grab it and actually, now that I think about it, I don't have the original one in my collection, or at least I can't remember picking it up, so I guess it was perfect that I got this one today. Okay, now, everybody, let's get into the sodas. And I did end up grabbing three of them, and the two different ones that I got, because I did pick up two of the same one, was Geralt as well as Hades, and they only had one of this one, otherwise I would have got more. And because we only have one Hades, we're going to be saving that till the end, and I'm really hoping that we do get the chase on that, because it's him completely red. And then when it comes to Geralt, I'm not exactly sure what what the chase is so i guess we'll just have to find out when we open it up and let's start with the first one here come on i'm hoping for that chase here we go i actually think we got it we got it i'm not even kidding we got it on the first one <gasps> Oh, wow. Okay, that is a weird one. I don't know why I'm not more excited about this. I guess I'm just shocked that we got it on the first try. And this one here is called Metallic Geralt. And yeah, you guys can see on the other side. Wow, look at that pog. And this one here is limited to one out of 1,300. I mean, guys, you can't write this. We got two chases in one day. Very similar to actually, yeah, yesterday's video. I feel like I'm almost being like desensitized to chases with the amount that we've been getting these days. And anyways, let's get into the one here, which I'm guessing is gonna be a common because I'm pretty sure they only had six of them in the store. But you never know, we could be getting another chase. I kind of doubt it, but hey, one can dream. And no, this is a normal draw, which is perfect because that means I don't have to buy another one. And if you guys want to take a look at the two of them next to each other, they are very similar. I believe they are the exact same sculpt but the chase one with that metallic hair as well as like kind of like the veins on his face i'm not exactly sure what you would call that looks really sick all right everybody now let's get into the hades and this one actually was a WonderCon exclusive so i'm guessing that's why they only got one because they're a little bit more limited when going to stores so maybe if i went to another GameStop, i might be able to find another one i'm not exactly sure but anyways let's get into this one for now and then if we have to find another one we'll worry about that in the future and so here we go everybody are we going to be getting the chase on this one and it is completely red so it's definitely going to be obvious oh my gosh you're kidding um, I, um, <laughs> we got it! 
it. I mean, seriously, could that be any more perfect? And I am seriously loving this one, especially the colors on them, like the red with the kind of orange fire on the top. And I mean, the common does look cool, so I'm definitely gonna have to grab another one. And well, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And because of the amount of chases, let me know which one your favorite was in the comment section below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Shut up, shut up. Big deal like TJ Maxx. Bought some cataracts. Watching all these.